feeling like a star. Get finished up, pretty much, finally done. Uh, just moves it on over so we can pressure wash this side of it. She looks good. I like it. Driveway? No, that was the thing. I only smelt it. Like if you've had one before. It's a farm truck or some shit. Oh, just someone went fucking off roading at a great time. Man. Oh yeah, and then said, "Hey, let's sell it." <laughs> If that drops at all, we know that there's a leak somewhere in the, in the red. Guys, this has been a uh, pain in the ass, man. Every single bolt that I have touched on this car has been probably the biggest investment I have done in a very long time. Uh, it's just obviously with the rust, you know, with all the bullshit underneath of it. Um, I got myself a torch, you know, I got the high heat, got, you know, the proper damn nozzle and stuff, and still um, bolts are not budging. Now, I'll show you guys quickly what exactly I'm talking about. This is my current issue at the moment. These sockets that are right there, um, their bolts are just, they are rock hard on that differential. So it's, you know, it's holding the CV axle onto the differential and uh, it has become one of the most timely processes that I've done. So we're gonna try to bust out the air gun now. What I have picked up, and I highly doubt that this is gonna work, but I figured, uh, you know, we're gonna try it out at least and see what we can do. And I picked this up off Amazon for like 20 bucks. It was a set of three of them. Uh, here's the other three right here. And uh, I'm gonna try to get this on because the problem with the big air gun is that I just, I can't fit it where it needs to go. So I needed something like this. This is off Amazon though. So I mean, like I said, it may snap on the first attempt. I really don't know. Uh, but I figured I'd give it a shot. It's an impact adapter. So I mean, you know, it's made for an impact gun, but we'll, you know, we'll, we'll see how tough it actually is. But I've tried everything, man. You know, I can't get the breaker bar underneath of it. Because there's just, there's not enough room. Um, so it's definitely, you know, I'm at a standstill right now. I mean, I can easily send this into the shop and, you know, have them do it. But look at this. Oh my God. This whole thing. I was going to cut it, but we're just going to, we're just going to send it right off, man. I don't need that shit anyways. But we're trying to do the dual caliper setup. Now I have tried the honey goo and I've broken three bolts out of the five on the CV axle. So, you know, I'm definitely getting somewhere, but it's definitely, it's a slow process. Uh, I've got the... Whole air compressor out, but right. Now if we come over here though. This is everything that I have for the handbrake. Like I have literally everything. I got the brakes. I got the damn bolt on for the trans tunnel. I got the dual caliper brackets. I got the brakes over there. We got the nameless handbrake as well too. Like I am ready to go, but these damn bolts on the differential. They're not helping me at all. So I'm gonna uh, try not to sweat as much as I can in here. This is, it's hot in here, man. I'm not gonna lie to you. We got the compressor hissing at me right now, so I'm gonna try to get this done and uh, maybe have a glass of water, maybe a cold beer, I don't know, man. But let me know if you guys are working on anything in your own garage. Uh, we got the tires underneath, man, extra safety. You never know what could happen, you never know. Right. So of course, need some gloves. Got these at, uh, I think, Costco. Some Dickies, man, these are actually been really nice. I think it was like a package of eight for like, uh, what, like 15 bucks? It is not bad at all, but we're gonna see what we can do here for today. Move that rotor out the way here. So this is one that I've been using. And just to confirm that this shit goes nowhere. All right, so here goes nothing. We got the airline. Throw this on. I think this is gonna snap. I got 20 bucks says that this thing's gonna snap. Place your bets right now. All right, here we go.
Well, uh, as you guys can see, I gave it the old college try, man. I don't know. It's uh, I just don't have enough leverage where I'm at kind of as well, too. That's kind of the problem that I'm running into is I just don't have enough movement. Three bolts. All right, I have two bolts left. And then this piece goes in. And then uh, this hub comes out. And then the e-brake bracket goes on. And we're pretty much going back together. So, I mean, I'm like right there, man. That's the thing that really sucks right now. Unfortunately, I just have other things that need to get done. So I have a week away, which I need to prep for videos for. This thing's causing me issues every single bolt that I touch. So what I'm gonna end up doing is putting it all back together today and I'm gonna bring it up to the shop next week, have them do the differential bushing, have them do the dual caliper bracket, put the dual calipers on, wire everything up, because I'm gonna put everything back that I've taken off right now, which is not a lot, to be honest with you. It's just a shit ton of tools because I've been doing different things. And then from there, hopefully, uh, be at that skid pad and uh, finally get this thing sideways. So that is the plan. I'm gonna try to make this quick because, uh, yep, yeah. Finn, what are you barking at? It's already August right now, and we're losing summer days out here, especially for me being in Canada. We got the winter seasons coming too, so I want to at least get to the skid pad once this year or to an event or, you know, both. That'd be great. So I'm going to clean everything up. KBD kit in the mail. It was roughly about, I want to say, I think like 700 or so. Wrong. Uh, that, and then I paid about $30 at the door, which I thought was very good, mind you, for, for what I picked up and the price of it all. Uh, but we're gonna go ahead and unbox this today. I gotta throw this in the sun, so I'm gonna go ahead outside, do that, and uh, we're gonna get this thing out of the box and hopefully on the car sooner than later, get a wrap on it. The car's looking good, man. I'm excited, I got a lot of parts here. Let me just quickly show you. Thank you, yeah, that's coming with me. So the garage is an absolute disaster right now, but I have in here rear Brembo's. We're gonna talk about that pretty soon. Underneath this box, right? Like I said, big moves coming, man. Not gonna really go into detail with this box as of yet, but the cars on XXRs, I got a lot to talk about. The works, right? Where they go, man, I don't know. I don't even have them in the garage right now. Big drift things coming. I'm excited. Um, it's been long overdue. I just, I just wanna get to the goddamn track, man, I really do. So we're gonna go ahead, open up this kit, be one step closer. Drinking, keep it low, low. Bumper and side screws. 